Hi, this is Joe from ExcelFormulas.com. Quite often, you'll find that the data you need for your formulas is stored in different sheets or workbooks. For example, in this Excel workbook, you can see the XYZ Widget Company Office Expenses Budget on one sheet and the actual expenses report on another sheet. So, if we want to create a budget versus expenses report, we need to create a formula that combines data from the two sheets. Let's see how that's done. As always, we start by typing the equal sign in the cell that will contain the formula. Then we navigate to the budget sheet and click on cell B5. You'll see that Excel entered the sheet name followed by an exclamation mark, followed by the cell name. This is how you refer to a cell on a specific sheet. Now let's subtract the corresponding cell on the actual expenses sheet. We do this by navigating to the actual expenses sheet and clicking on the corresponding cell. Note that this time Excel surrounded the sheet name with single quotes. This is required when the sheet name contains more than one word. Finally, we press the Enter key and the formula is done. All we need to do now is use the Fill handle to copy the formula to the other cells in the table. Note that Excel adjusted the cell references even though they are referring to cells on other sheets. Now we can see where we had surplus budget and where the budget wasn't enough. Now let's see how we can link data from different files. For example, if our budget and expenses data were stored in different files, this is what we had to do in order to create the expenses versus budget report in a third file. The process is similar. We start with the budget versus expenses file and start entering the formula. We then navigate to the budget file and select the corresponding cell. Finally, we subtract the same cell from the actual expenses file. Again, we need to navigate to the actual expenses file, select the appropriate cell, and press the Enter key. Note that the name of the file is added to the cell reference before the name of the sheet and is surrounded by square brackets. Also note that references to cells on other files are created as absolute references. If we want to use the fill handle to copy the formula to the rest of the file, we first need to remove the dollar signs. You can see that Excel adjusted the cell references even though the cells are found in another file. We could have entered these references by hand, but I find that clicking on the cell and having Excel create the cell reference is much easier. Now let's look at the final technique for linking data between sheets. As you can see in this sheet, the fictitious XYZ widget company has offices in New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. To sum up countrywide expenses on a range of sheets, we do the following. We start with the countrywide sheet. We select cell B5 on the New York City sheet.
Then while holding the shift key, we click the Chicago sheet. You'll notice that Excel entered a range of sheets surrounded by single quotes, followed by an exclamation mark and the cell reference. Now all we need to do is close the sum function, press enter, and Excel will sum cell B5 across the sheets. As usual, we can use the fill handle to copy the formula. You can use this technique for 3, 10, or even 100 sheets. As I've said, in a well-designed Excel workbook, the data will be divided between different sheets and this will often require you to refer to data on multiple sheets. And now you know exactly how to accomplish that. Thank you for your time and attention. For more free Excel training, just enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. You'll get everything you need to know about Excel formulas all in one place. All you need to do is enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. If you are not watching this video on the Excel Formula site, then go to www.freeexcelvideos.com and follow the instructions. That's www.freeexcelvideos.com. Thank you.